today I'm doing a little bit of a sketchbook tour. Of course, all the products that I talk about is going to be linked below in case you want to purchase it. Pumpkin, no! Pumpkin, no! I thought that it would be a good idea for Pumpkin to join us because I always have so much fun when I film with a furry buddy of mine, but... Um, anyway, I wanted to make a casual sketchbook walkthrough. For those who saw all three of those travel vlogs, you would definitely recognize things. And I thought that I would kind of explain some of them as well, just because I went there hoping to fill up the whole thing, but I only filled up this much, so I have this much left that's blank. But actually, my mom wanted to go to Europe next month, so I thought while I go with her, I'll try to finish it back up. Some of these I do want more detail, so in the future when I update them, I can show you again. So the first page, I always kind of leave it blank because I like to do the first page last when I finish the sketchbook. This spread is while I was on the plane. Does that bird have to... Birds! Am I right? I remember I had a middle seat and I was kind of just staring or people watching and there was this really cute little boy <laughs> so I just wrote a poem off the top of my head and I said I sit besides I sit beside little boy and his father he reads to his son bedtime stories in Italian a beautiful little boy sleeps soundly what an untouched beautiful boy at peace. It occurred to me one day this boy will grow into a man living a beautiful life, worlds apart from mine. Really no objective behind that. Kind of sounds almost creepy, but that's just kind of what I wrote. And then I watched this guy eat his curry and then ask for another one and just says, the man in front has already finished his entree. He is on his second curry. I cannot stop from watching him stir his rice. Here we all are, gathered so closely, in a place where everyone is rushing to get back, to get away, to get some place that somehow we've forgotten about each other. We see each other, we feel each other, but we think nothing. And then this is a stream of consciousness little spread that occurred. It was when the cabin was dark. I just wanted to eat my bag of pretzels after I've already opened it and I couldn't find a desire for the pretzel. Then Question mark is basically asking, where the hell is my bag of pretzels? Empty lap, nothing. Can't, I don't know where it went, right? These are broken pretzels because I somehow fell on the floor and I crushed it, so I felt sad. And then I found the bag and it was empty, so that was just my stream of thought. So this page is quite ugly, but it's definitely a work in progress. On the top left here, it says, automatic drawing in dim light. And then this is kind of what I wrote before in another sketchbook I had, just where the line goes I follow. And automatic drawing can be a reference to the 1920s surrealism movement, especially the artist Andre Messon, I believe. Drawing without thinking and your muscles and your instinct just kind of make something and you're not really quite intending to do anything with it. So, And then I made a poem, 1 a.m. I don't know what's worse spilling my drink on the aisle floor or not having any juice left. This is when I had orange juice. As I turned the page, my plastic cup and its contents headed for the floor. There was a splash, an audible one. Just as I bent over, out went the cabin lights. Perfect. I look and see, then around me, off, away, asleep. No witnesses. Perfect. Poem in dim light, but no juice. This is the view from that cafe and back then I only had I think like two or three mochas so I said I can count all the mochas I've ever had in one hand because we always went on a coffee break in the beginning of the day so I got a mocha every day on this trip so it is cute. This is that monument, a quick sketch of it and I hope to put some detail in the future. So that's the Walter Scott one. I don't quite like this color as I thought I would, but I kind of just was studying the hills. It was when I was sitting on top of Calton Hill and I was looking at Arthur's seat in that direction and I just liked the mark making variations I found with like the different line weights. So this is kind of just a rough sketch of that. And then in the next one, this you might recognize from when I went to the pub and I was listening to Scottish crowd music for the first time live. And these are all the darling people I met. The next day when we went up to Arthur's seat with Neil, 
this was the hill that I sketched as I was just sitting there listening and I thought what was cool is that you can actually flip it both ways because it's so ambiguous that I just really like thought and line variations it was just like a fun exercise June 19th and as for the quote on top of here it was actually pasted on the wall of the pub that I was in so I just wrote it down because I really liked it so this was also Arthur C and just Neil a quick line drawing of that then you might recognize this it says circus lane and impression I think I drew this in about 15 seconds because I just sat there I just had a quick rough sketch because we were just going from place to place to place visiting different locations while I was filming with Kentucky. Everything that I did on this project is thoroughly explained in the description in case you're confused. Then that evening we visited Sandy Bells and as you might have seen in the vlog this is Kilo the dog. I was trying to sketch him, but he kept moving and sitting back down. On the right side here are just some of my random thoughts. Um, second day in Scotland, quite a few mochas. Wow, the wind, it was freaking strong. Fair circus lane again, just random little things that you can read here. I also decided to just draw little cartoons of myself for no particular reason. And then a quick watercolor of Kilo, June 20th says car handwriting this morning we left at 8 in the morning for Inverness what does it say something four hour car journey by bumpy is that ironic this is when I was in the car and we were on the road trip so I wanted to draw the landscape as we moved through it so it was a quick very gestural way and I love that because it would bump here and there it was actually a mark making device almost just the squiggles and it kind of just for me it integrates one the movement of being in the car and then seeing this landscape and this is the mark that derived from it Martin Bennett Blackbird that's the song that was playing when I was drawing this then this was in the lobby of the Loch Ness Lodge. I painted just a random guest that was sitting right by me. And I mean, we chatted a little bit, but I never asked for his name. I, I also showed him what I did of him. So this was just like a rough watercolor on this right side. I didn't have time because I had to leave and film something. Then this page was actually done afterwards. I was looking at a photograph I took and playing with my gouache paint. So I did some abstract, strokes and then went back and did some lines over that so that's just a rough painting of the scottish highlands not necessarily done yet we bumped into the Highland coos the highland shaggy cows so this was just a very quick under one minute gesture sketch of them because they kept walking away so it's not great especially over here this is not very accurate of their muscles but this is while we were sitting in Portree and that was actually where David grew up and we visited there and he was just telling us about when he was five and just running around there so it was so lovely to visit and just an amazing place to sit for a little bit and sketch before we had to go then this was one of the last days I believe it was kind of just a collage spread it was much more intentional instead of just documenting what was in front of me so here I have some more of the highlands in the vlog and also in the Contiki project this is when I was walking at the end of that dock so I sat on that dock and I drew the water which is represented by these lines and then down here are some lines that was I believe reminiscent of the rolling clouds this is the Aelindonan castle sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong so I think these were just a combination of the last couple of days that we spent there well it says June 20th is this one to finish up this is the last few sketches I did in Glasgow so this was Glasgow University sitting in the courtyard um, it was seen in the vlog and then later we went to that cafe and they had a little bouquet right on the counter so I just did a line drawing of that and then on the day that we left I had Jimmy and Hayden just write something so I can remember them by just kind of like how Neil signed his name earlier in that spread so that I can just have their handwriting and remember them because I really enjoyed the trip and I really enjoyed their company and talking to them because at first I'm just a nervous person to be around new people but being on this trip really changed me in that way hey 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 oh there it is oh okay my heart. No. 
No. As I was saying, I had so much fun. Um, I had so much fun with Jenny and Hayden and also Emma and David and Will that we met on this trip. Even though I only spent a few days with them, it was just a really good time. And it was also the first time I was completely around new people that didn't share my background and culture, but never have I been more appreciative of that because I just took so much away and it really changed my perspective on how I view what is normal or what is standard in my life because you come to realize like when you meet people around the world that something that's super normal to you is unheard of or nothing to somebody else so it kind of just makes me a more open-minded person I think when I meet people I kind of take a little piece of them with me even though my path my only cross momentarily with theirs so I think the way that I perceive meeting people in general has really really changed um, and I just come home differently every time you travel and never has travel been more enriching that way because it's no longer just about going somewhere just to see the place taking a picture and leaving it is really about living while you're there feeling something and just being moved and this time just being there in the pub with the live music talking to David and other young people who will tell me about their childhood and what matters so much to them. In a way, I can live vicariously through that and I can share my stories as well. So if you haven't seen the vlogs, everything is linked below. And also the articles that I wrote for Kentucky, it is on the 6-2 platform linked below. I just kind of expand on what I was talking about in this video and also in the vlogs, I just reflect on it. And also the video that they produced is what I was filming with them as I was exploring the country and it was edited by Hayden. Also the photos that you've seen are also by Hayden Dibbs, so definitely check out his Instagram. Thank you so much again for watching this being here and also making it possible for me to have an amazing opportunity like this to learn and also to share and really just to grow because this experience was so meaningful. Pumpkin and I had such a good time today so thank you for joining us and I will see you very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day or your night. Bye! Love you! He's annoyed. He just wants to sleep. Now he wants my camera strap. <laughs>